morning everybody this is day four of the first week of the West Virginia buck season we've changed tactics we've come back from Rucker Gap up in Greenbrier County uh, West Virginia in the Mungahay National Forest we're hunting over on our hunting lease and decided to come back last night because we hadn't seen any deer up there we know there's deer here. These deer have been fed on Lucky Buck. So we're back here. Going to hunt the next three days here. And with the evidence that we have, we know what's in here. So hopefully we will uh, be able to get a nice rack of buck. I'm, heading, I'm hunting up in the head of the holler above where my tree stand is. And Jared's hunting in uh, another holler. Where he can actually watch two haulers that converge into one. So we're going to sit back and see what happens.
everybody. It's November the 22nd. It's about a quarter to seven, ten to seven. Just got into my spot. Jumped two or three deer coming in. Never could see them. I just could hear them take off. Jared and Alvin and I are in here hunting and we're hoping to maybe luck up and catch a nice sized buck in here today. But uh, there's a front moving in. Got uh, showers this afternoon snow tomorrow so hopefully they'll be moving today it's kind of breezy so we'll just have to sit back and see what happens well here it is almost uh, 11 o'clock I haven't seen anything I talked to Jared earlier he had a young buck running the doe he didn't tell me how many points, he just said a young buck running the doe. Uh, I haven't heard anything from Alvin, and I haven't seen anything. We've had wind gusts 20, 25 miles per hour, and uh, I don't even hear a squirrel or a chipmunk when there isn't any wind blowing. So, I don't know what today's going to be like, so... Good morning everybody. It's November the 24th. It's Saturday and as you can tell we have some snow. Came in light today. Couldn't carry a whole lot. So I'm using my cell phone to record this video. Yesterday evening, just after dusk, I seen a rack buck about 50 yards trotting in front of me. Could not get him in the scope and everything happened so fast he turned to his left and just disappeared and of course we'd sat through rain and then the sun come out sunset and like i said it was just after dusk i mean just light enough to see 50 60 70 yards in front of you and so we know there's another racked buck in here me and Alvin and Jared's back out again today, giving it another try, and uh, after today, this will be the conclusion of the first week of West Virginia Bucks rifle season. Then uh, next week, I'm possibly will be able to hunt Friday and Saturday if I haven't got nothing today. So we'll just sit back and see what happens, and see if we can. Uh, Get a buck come our way. Well, everybody, I've done it. Got a six point today. I was using my AR-15 with uh, 55 green pointed soft point Remington core locks. First shot took him down on the ground and thought he was done. And he tried to get up, but uh, could only get on his front legs. And I took another shot, finished him off. He's about 50 to 60 yards away. Here he is. The uh, 
uh, <clears throat> Jared and Alvin come over after I shot him and helped me uh, take some pictures, which I'll be posting on Facebook and also sharing this video. But it's, uh, it's day six of the West Virginia buck season, and I've scored. It was 920 this morning, and as I'd mentioned earlier, there's snow on the ground, and he was feeding and uh, come in and uh, was probably heading right up to me, but I didn't want to take a chance of him spotting me, so I got the job done. Uh, I'd say I've had him on camera before. He's probably been at my Lucky Buck site. Uh, not a real impressive rack, but this is only the second year we've been using Lucky Buck, so I'm tickled to death. I still have an extra buck tag. I can come over here next week. It'll probably be Friday and Saturday. See if we can find something bigger. But uh, Jared and Alvin's still in the woods. I'm hoping Jared gets something today because then he has to go back to work tomorrow night. And then he'll have Friday and Saturday next week. So until the next video, uh, hopefully it'll be with Jared dragging a deer in. morning everybody. It's December 1st, 2012. It's the last day of the West Virginia firearm season. Jared and I over here hunting. We're gonna be hunting till about noon. He has to work tonight so he has to go home and get some sleep so we uh, decided to come over here and at least give it a half a day to see what's going on. Of course I've already filled my tag. I've got my extra buck tag. Jared still hasn't filled his tag yet, so I'm hoping he gets one. Uh, I'm hunting near my second tree stand, watching this hollow in a flat that we know that the deer come up out of the laurel, come up these draws. So we're going to sit in here, see what happens, and maybe I'll have another buck come through like it did uh, last Saturday. Maybe it'll be a bigger rack one. I can only hope.
Well, it's about 10 after 10. I haven't seen any deer since them two that I seen first thing this morning when I came in. But I tell you what, if I was into squirrel hunting as much as I am into deer hunting, I'd have done had my limit two or three times over. There are squirrels everywhere. I hear one barking to my left now. Sounds like he's over in the, in the hollow just across this ridge. But there are squirrels everywhere. Did hear a turkey cluck a couple times, but I never did see him. It's been some shooting. I've heard some shooting around. But, uh, just haven't seen any deer. It's supposed to get up to about 60 degrees today. So, got a couple more hours and then we'll be heading out. And the next thing will be is uh, the opening of muzzleloader season, which is uh, December the 3rd, Monday. And I'll be out. Jared will be out. We'll be trying our luck at that. See what happens.